Hi, this is Darren Drew from D. Drew Guitars. I'm going to show you how to level, crown, and polish your frets in a matter of 10 minutes. I have the strings pulled up to the side. I taped off the body so it doesn't get scratched or anything. I have my sanding block with two, 220 grit on it. I've already eyeballed the neck to make sure that it, it doesn't have a back bow or a bow. It's nice and flat. want to sand until you see all the frets being, being touched. The longer the block, the flatter the frets are going to get. So on, on a mandolin, it's like, I'll turn the block even a little bit sideways to use it because the six inches is a little bit long for a mandolin. But and you can see exactly when all the tops of the frets are being touched by the sanding block. Anyway, it's 7.39 now. I'm going to keep track of time on this. I'm going to dust away all the shavings. Okay, I came up with this crowning and polishing block at the same time. You can see it's got two round steel rods and that <laughs> the frets have no choice but to be crowned when you using the abrasives with it. And I've come up with this because I see the fastest, easiest, and yet they have files in their hands. There's no way that they're the fastest or the easiest because files take skill, they take time, and they are also taping off the fretboard. This also sands the fretboard very nicely. It's inlay safe. So, steel rods down, 120 grit, and this is perfect for mandolins because this is nice and flat. It's got a flat fretboard. And I don't care how good you are with the file, you're still going to radius that end of the ends of the frets on a mandolin. I don't care how good you are. So, put this down. Just work it back and forth. I roll it off the edge just a touch to get the bevels. And this even gets these little tiny frets way down here. This is used paper sanding pads. So usually you only need to go down two or three times back and forth. This will give you perfectly crowned frets every time. It's very consistent. Wipe off the dust. And the dust don't want to work as much in there. You also want to keep your pads as clean as possible. 180 grit. Move it around on the pad to use the different parts of it. Off again, 220 pad. Very fast on a mandolin. <laughs> and then 320 pad. And these frets will come out as good as any factory does. Okay, and then I'll take the 320 pad and I'll go in this direction. It will help smooth them out a little bit more even. And 
and you'll see if you have any places that you missed. You'll see the scratch marks on top where you didn't get it all the way crowned yet. Now I'll take a rag with some denatured alcohol. I will clean it, get all that dust out of there. And I sell these tools on Amazon, eBay, Reaper, $40, you get the whole complete kit. I give you a leveling block with it and all four grits of the abrasive. Enough to do six or so guitars, instruments. Get all that out. You can also use Windex to um, clean off your fretboard. And then I use uh, mineral oil. You can buy a whole big bottle of it for a dollar. You know, it's a lot cheaper than the fretboard oil. You can use furniture oil. Got this in there. Got to get it inside all these little frets. And time is 7.45 now, so, you know, that's what, oh, eight minutes so far. I'm going to take this outside, put it on the buffing wheel real quick, give a super shine. I know most people don't have a buffing wheel, but these frets here are as good as any company out there. I guarantee it like they are. It's an expensive mandolin, so I'll just go one step further. Okay, now if you can see, perfectly crowned, leveled, frets, consistent every time, a matter of eight minutes. There you go. My name's Darren Drew. Please subscribe and like. I'll have more videos to share. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.